Let's go through question D of the revision workbook, time to test one for paper one for Excel GCC computer science. Again, all about networks. So here it's saying data is split up into packets. Oops, should be highlighting. Um, for transmission across the internet and a header is attached to each packet. Two items in a packet header are the sequence number and the checksum. So explain the purpose of the sequence number. Well, let's take a step back. Remember, we have different layers. We have the application layer, the transport layer, the internet layer, and the link layer. At the application layer, you might have something like Google Chrome that says, um, I would like to watch a video. So download this video from this web page. And we initiate a HTTP re um, request on the application layer that tries to download a big file. It's maybe one gigabyte in size. One gigabyte file is far too big to download all in one go. So at the transport layer, the web server isn't going to send it all in once. It's going to split that large file into smaller packets. So the job of TCP is to split large files into smaller packets. And we have to put the, some of the data itself, but also a header. And the header would have things like a checksum and a sequence number. So the sequence number is going to be the order that you send it in not necessarily the order that you send it in, sorry, but the order that it should be reassembled in, in order to get that original file. So the sequence number is the order that the packets were um, split up into so that you can reassemble them into the right order. And then we've got the checksum. So the idea is any of these packets could be affected by atmospheric interference, which might just change some of the zeros um, into a one or some of the ones into a zero. And if that happens, you don't really know that it's happened until you try and reassemble the packets, try and open the video, and it's just corrupt and it doesn't work. So one way around that is to put a checksum in. It's like some extra, let's change the color to, uh, here we go. So that's the original payload, the original data. We can have some extra bytes or sorry, extra bits in here, um, which are calculated based on the number of zeros or ones that we have here. Um, so often it's like if you've got an odd number of bits, then you'll have a one or an even number, it will be a zero or something like that. You don't need to remember the exact calculation. All you need to know is that you have a checksum which allows you to check and see, is this valid? Has there been a mistake? Has there been some noise, some interference that's damaged one of these bits? Because you can do your calculation to check this is what I got from looking at the data. Um, this is the checksum I received, so they match, so that's fine. Or they don't match, so I'll request that packet again so that I can get that packet again. So that's how TCP is a um, reliable protocol, as in a packet goes missing, you just get it again. Or you look at the packet and you can work out if there's been any um, interference because the checksum doesn't match, and you know which order to reassemble them in because of that sequence number.